Hello! So just to recap on today's lesson, we looked at this hand today, not the hand that you have your bow and you pizzicato with, which is your right, but your left hand. And your left hand sinks down onto the thing, onto the, sinks the strings down onto the fingerboard, rather, and it uh, changes the notes that you can play. So you can play a whole load of different notes once you get this hand working for you. So, um, the important thing with this hand, well, there's lots of important things, but one important thing to remember is that this joint here is called your nutty man, okay? This bit here at the bottom of your first, second, third, fourth finger, at the bottom of your first finger, we call him the nutty man because he sits, this little bit here at the top of your violin is called the nut. And he sits on the nut. So bring this guy up here and you hold your violin like this. Now you'll see that my thumb isn't over the top. You can't touch the strings with your thumb. It's nice and soft and my fingers here. So you may want to just adjust your hand your, a little bit so that it looks like that. Okay, you should be able to wiggle your fingers and your thumb is really soft. Don't grip with your thumb at the back. Okay, then if you drop your first finger down, you have two lines in your violin. The line that is nearest the nut is where you're gonna drop your first finger on. Make sure that you are bowing and putting your finger on the same string. We did A to B, which is A1, the first finger on the A string. These are A's. Those are B's. Okay, A1, so the first finger on the A string, you can hear the difference in the note. So you should practice that until you feel really comfortable with it. And then, Put all three fingers, first, second and third finger down in this sort of pattern. So you can see that they're not equal. There's a gap between one and two. Your third finger should be on the second white line you have going across. If you have two lines, you have one for the first finger and one for the third finger. So that, that your hand should be that sort of shape. Now, you'll notice that my second finger is up close, they're touching. The second and third so put the third finger on the upper white line and put them all down and then you can play open one two three and it should sound like this I'm going to do four of each you can play along with me So that's A, B, C sharp and D, also known as A, A1, A2 and A3. And the only other two notes that we will need are E and E1. Same thing, first finger at the nutty man drops onto the string at the first white line. And you can see, because I'm talking at a funny angle here, when I first put it down, it wasn't quite exactly where I wanted it. I just gently adjust. Till I hear that it's just one step up. Okay, so let's do... All the new notes. Good luck. Practice every day. Bye.